Trish with Zerpro of Hunt Valley, Hartford County, and New Cumberland, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I'm here with Sean Redinger. He's our water production manager at the Hunt Valley office. He's been with us for about six years and has a ton of experience here and then also at other restoration, in the restoration industry in general. So thanks so much, Sean. No Appreciate problem. it. Okay. We're going to talk a little bit about dry ice blasting. Um, so what types of media blasting do you perform at Serpro? Um, at Serpro, we mainly do two types of media blasting. Um, we mainly stick to dry ice, um, but we also have the capability of doing soda blasting. They both have their, their benefits. Um, dry ice blasting is just more what we straight towards. Okay. And is that, is it because it's a unique or what? Exactly? Um, it's a unique process. The media that we use um, actually is dry ice. They come in rice size pellets um, and when they impact materials, they actually, due to their temperature, freeze any type of particulate or contamination that we're trying to remove, um, which allows it to fall off during the process. Um, with this being said, since it's a softer kind of material that we're using to blast with. There's less risk of damage or pitting of any type of material you're trying to remove the contaminant off of. So what's the cleanup like with it? Um, there is drastically almost no cleanup. Um, when the ice impacts the material, it turns into carbon dioxide, which means that there is virtually no cleanup with the exception of anything that may come off of the material itself. Okay. So it makes it very beneficial if you're doing any type of cleanup work on the exterior of a structure. You don't have to put up containment procedures or anything along those lines, um, which is why we normally use it. There's less cleanup, less abrasion done to any type of materials we're trying to save. So um, that is definitely why we stray towards using blasting okay. with ice. Okay, so the ideal situations for dry ice blasting would be mold, soot, soot. fire jobs. Um, okay. It can be used on a broad range of things, but geared toward our industry, it's mainly removing soot, mold off of framing, and any type of stain that may be present. The dry ice blasting is a green process. Um, there's no cleanup. Any of the ice that's impacted in the material turns into carbon dioxide, which is absorbed by plants. There aren't very many safety hazards with it unless you are in a confined space, which can be remedied by having proper ventilation, um, but it's one of the most green and least hazardous materials to use to blast with. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much, Sean, for joining us and teaching us all a little bit more about the dry ice blasting process. It seems very effective for removing mold, soot, fire damage, graffiti, or any other kind of stain removal. We can't wait to hear what you can bring us next time. Thanks for joining us.